Hey, good morning, everyone. <clears throat> My name is Dr. Kirk Fisnick. Of course, you knew that. And uh, this is our weekly event, the Doctor's Clinic Call, Doctor's Clinic Webinar, however you want to look at it. Um, I'm sitting out here in Minneapolis, Minnesota, actually in Bloomington, at my buddy's house. Um, and, uh, you know, he and I have been talking about health a lot and discussing different things. He's, a, he's an advocate of, of better health. And uh, I'm out here drinking my H2 sticks. We'll talk a little bit about that. What's the benefit of drinking hydrogen water? Uh, we'll talk a little bit about other things. And my goal is today to teach you, give you some ideas about how you can have better health in this toxic environment, this toxic world that we live in. Um, we were driving down the street yesterday and, and uh, just down the street here from where my buddy lives, just, you know, um, off to the, off to the left here, there's a, uh, there's a, a huge airport, the Minneapolis-St. Paul Airport. We might hear a jet go over. And you just wonder, what does that do? Well, some people believe that chemtrails, that, they're, that the jets are spreading chemicals across the, across the land of ours. And, uh, you know, for whatever reason, you know, maybe it's to get rid of these toxic chemicals. Maybe, maybe it's for other purposes. You know, maybe they're uh, dropping fluoride on us and different things like that. You know, I don't know. I, I guess on this call, it's it's my call. So I'm going to tell you what I believe. I think that you know they can they can spray chemicals on us that way. It's an easy way to do it. They don't have to have any special uh, planes. And, and they don't have to have any special methods and. and and, uh, you know, who's going to suspect that? You know, they've convinced the world that, that people like me and you are conspiracy thinkers, that, that we think everybody, you know, that, that you know, the, the uh, people who control the world, the world's elite, are, you know, somehow trying to dumb us down and make us uh, feel like we're, like we're safe. But really, you know, are we? I don't know. I don't know. Um, you know, let's not even go there. Let's not even go there. You know, because I believe that some of you probably want to live in your, in your world with your rose-colored colored glasses and, and you don't want to believe in the conspiracy thinking uh, people like me, you know, I guess uh, crazy people. I don't know. Well, however you want to look at it, but <clears throat> whether you believe in the conspiracy part of it or not, we do live in a toxic world. We do live in a toxic world. We, you know, in the last hundred years, maybe even less than that, probably the last 60 or 70 years, we've really created a lot of toxins. There's um, thousands of new chemicals that, that are invented every year. Some of them more toxic than others. And some of them are, are chemicals that will never be destroyed in our environment. Not, not in our lifetime, not in our children's lifetime, not in our grandchildren's lifetime. You look at things like DDT and, and, and chemicals like that. Um, it's, it's out there. They're finding it in the, Arctic ice, when they uh, send probes down into the ice, they're finding that these chemicals have penetrated into the, into the, the um, ice sheets. And, you know, that's, that's a problem. These chemicals are a problem. But what does that have to do with you? You're not in the Arctic. You're not in the Antarctic. You're not drinking water that comes from the Arctic. But here's the deal. If it's there, it's here. If it's here, it's there. And 
you have to put up with that. The environmental uh, working group, the EWG, uh, did some studies. If you want to go to EWG.org, that's EWG.org. And you can, you can see some studies that they've done. And, and they did a study a number of years ago where they, they took the umbilical cord blood of several hundred uh, newborns, healthy newborns. They took the umbilical cord blood and they evaluated it for toxicity, for known toxins. And what they found was that these babies are being born with over 200 chemicals in their blood. I mean, think about that. 200 known chemicals, man-made, and some of them are some really dangerous uh, carcinogenic compounds. And so we have to ask ourselves, what can we do about it? What can we do to prevent this from happening? And better yet, I think in my opinion, how do we prevent it from causing damage to us, to our bodies? How do we make it so that these um, young people, these babies that are just being born, can, uh, can have a, a chance for a non-toxic, healthy life? And, you know, if you're starting out from uh, ground zero, from day one, with over 200 toxins in your body, you really have to wonder, is there a way of, of cleaning up that mess? Is there a way of cleaning up that, that toxic slew in the body? So, anyhow, some thoughts, something for you to think about. And, uh, and so my thought, and I don't know. I guess the thought of a lot of um, a lot of researchers is you have to really start with creating a uh, healthy uh, terrain, and that's what it's being called the, the the terrain. And so, as we look out here in my friend's backyard, you know, he's got a lot of nice green grass. You can see the trees and it all looks healthy how much of it is uh, you know due to chemical fertilizers and that well none he doesn't put any uh, chemicals on his on his ground and you can see that the trees look healthy the, the grass in the background healthy Lord knows what that shot was some of Somebody just shot off a gun in town here. Hmm. That's not healthy. <laughs> but the terrain, the ground that the that the uh, plants are growing in, and so kind of my my thought on it is is that if I have a piece of dirt that I I, I want to replant grass there, if that soil has been depleted of the minerals, I can throw that grass seed out there and it's really not gonna do much, right? You're really not gonna get a lot of good gas, grass growing um, in soil that, that doesn't have any, doesn't have any, um, um, it doesn't have any minerals in it. I'm trying to drink my H2 water in the 15 minutes that you're supposed to drink it after you make it. So hang on one second, uh, bear with me. Yeah, that's good stuff. So you gotta, you gotta provide that, that terrain, you gotta provide those minerals. But the other thing is if this soil was sprayed with, with chemicals, it was sprayed with, with, uh, you know, certain kinds of chemicals, uh, and you could have the minerals in the soil and you could spread grass seed uh, uh, across the dirt and it's still not going to grow, right? Because the, 
and the chemicals are preventing the grass seed from from uh, uh, germinating and from from it might even it might even kill the seed before before it ever has a chance. So I think in your body we have to do the same thing. You have to you have to um, create a situation where the cells can be healthy in the first place. And and I believe that that starts with what we're going to call or what the scientists are calling the terrain. And that is um, that is the the mucus layers in your gut, and they've even found uh, mucus mucus layers in the, inside the the pancreas. They've found uh, mucus layers in 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 all of all of the the organs that secrete any kind of of hormones or digestive juices. Um, you've got mucus membranes in your ear canal, inside all the sinuses in your head, inside your lungs, um, inside the bladder. And you even have kind of a protective barrier on top of your skin. And when we look at it, kind of a good idea, a good way of thinking about it, think of it like a, like a floor made with ceramic tile. So the ceramic tile, the, the, they're, they're butted up against each other, but there's a space between each tile. Now, if you just glued the tile onto the floor and you left that space, what would you have? You'd have, you'd have a floor where dirt and, and insects and, and, and uh, spills could get down between each individual tile. And that's not going to make your floor last any longer. Eventually, the stuff's going to get underneath the tile, and it's going to cause the, the glue to release, and your tile's going to peel. And that's not what you want on a, an expensive ceramic floor or a wood floor or granite, marble, any of that. You want to have those where those tiles are butted up against each other. You want to have it so it's 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 grouted. So you you have this 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 uh, concrete like substance uh, called grout, and you you put that grout between the tiles. Um, for a lot of you that have showers, you know that's grout um, in your in your in your bathroom. That's grout in those tiles, and sometimes you have to replace that because it cracks it. It breaks, and and if you don't get it fixed before the before moisture starts getting in through that grout, you're going to start getting moisture into your tile, and you're going to cause those tiles to start falling. Off. Well, in your in your gut, in your pancreas, in your lungs, in your sinuses, uh, we have a, a a mucus layer between the cells. So think of the the tiles as being the individual cells. So the cells are packed together, but there's a there's a space between them. There's a space between between you know let's say these are the cells here. There's a space between them, and no matter how tightly you push that together, there's still a space in there, and that's where the grout goes. And in your body, that grout is made up of a, a mucus layer, and 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 so I think that that's where kind of ground zero has to be in your body is developing that. That the grout or that terrain, I guess, as it's being called. And well, how do you do that? It's not just products like probiotics and and prebiotics. It, it as we've been talking about on this call, and you even heard uh, Tom Senior talking about it. Uh, it comes from um, uh, organic substances known as uh, humus. Not hummus, not hummus like you put on your, your chips and things like that, but the humus. And what is, what is humus? Humus is made up of that uh, seaweed that's decomposed over millions of years. And that, that decomposed uh, seaweed, it has uh, a lot of great um, minerals in it, but it creates a dirt that your uh, that your your healthy bacteria can live in, 
And what's the benefit of having healthy bacteria in that, in that microbiome or in that terrain is it, uh, it, it acts as a selective, a selective barrier. And you want things to be able to pass in and out through, through those cells, through that, through that membrane, that, that mucus layer. And, and, and that's what fulvic acid does. And so we hear Tom talking about Spectrumax. And Spectrumax has fulvic acid. Well, just like these trees back here behind me, these trees on the ends of the roots, they produce fulvic acid. And that fulvic acid dissolves the rock. It dissolves the... The, the minerals in the soil so the tree can absorb it. And that's why, look at this big tree right here alongside of me. That's how the tree can grow uh, to such a giant size. Well, in your body, that fulvic acid helps allow your body to, to absorb those minerals. And so that's why we put fulvic acid in the spectrum. But the other product that we put fulvic acid in is the, uh, is the body shield. And why is it called Body Shield? Well, um, some of you may know or remember that in Japan a number of years ago, there was a nuclear reactor um, accident and a lot of uh, nuclear waste was spread across the country. And they, scientists decades before that had figured out that the fulvic acid absorbs uh, that radiation. So not only does it help... Um, create this, this healthy terrain, this healthy uh, microbiome in your, in your uh, gut, in the gut lining, in the mucus lining of different organs, but it also works to help to protect you. So that's why he called the product Body Shield, because it'll help protect you from uh, radiation. So as I'm sitting out here, and, and you remember in the beginning of the call, I talked about the fact that just a... Um, couple blocks away, there's a new 5G tower that went up. And we have to protect ourselves against the radiation that's uh, given off, the microwave radiation that's given off by these new towers. And uh, the, uh, the body shield, in my opinion, is a great product for that. And I, I believe uh, that we really need to be taking uh, a, probably a, a double dose of that, depending on where you live. I mean, if you live out in the middle of nowhere and you're not exposed to the toxic uh, fallout, yeah, you know, you can probably get by with a, with a single dose. But I, I really believe we, we should all be on a double dose. That's my uh, personal opinion. I've tried to do some reading on fulvic acid and, and the right dosage. And, and really, um, the researchers out there are saying that if you end up taking too much, you might have uh, loose stools. So you'll know, you'll know. But anyhow, I think I think that's a, that's a great start. And then uh, you want to you want to have a probiotic that balanced the to provide the healthy bacteria to grow within that environment. So once you've created the environment, once you've created healthy soil, you've uh, got the nice uh, humus in there. You you put some uh, organic fertilizer on the soil. Now you can spread the seed. And you're going to have um, some uh, good grass growing there, you know, good, healthy looking lawn and in your body, kind of the same sort of thing. And, and so that's, um, that's really kind of my thoughts on that. Now you can start adding the, the uh, uh, different uh, ingredients that you, that you might need. Uh, before you do that, you want to detox the cells. And so the, uh, the product that we have, that's called, uh, it's called uh, super detox, great product. But what super detox is it's, it's a product that boosts the function of the, of the liver, boosts the function the digestive system. So that now that you're pulling the toxins out of the cells, you have to, in a way, you have to figure out how do you dispose of them? How do you dispose of them safely? Because if all you do is pull the, the toxins out of your cells and now those toxins are flowing around in your body, 
um, they may cause damage. And here's the whole problem with uh, with with the uh, um, with toxins is that a toxin is a toxin because what it's going to do is it, it's the toxin and the chemical that compound is missing a free it's missing a free electron. And as it passes by one of your cells, it reaches out and grabs an electron um, from your from your cell. And as it reaches out and grabs that electron from your cell, now that cell becomes something we know as a free radical. And and I'm sure most of you have heard about free radicals. And so how a antioxidant works is an antioxidant takes in and either um, supplies an extra hydrogen, so it neutralizes it. So let's take the case of the most damaging of the free radicals. They're, they're called hydroxyl free radicals. And, and basically what they are is they're a compound that has a what's known as a, a hydroxyl group, which is chemically, it looks like this. It's got a negative, so negative OH. And what that means is that it's got, it's highly negatively charged. And so it's gonna try and steal from your uh, from your other cells to neutralize itself, and thereby causing a free radical. And so that's where uh, hydrogen water comes in, because hydrogen water uh, provides a hydrogen that attaches to that 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 hydroxyl group that OH and uh, neutralizes it, converts it to water. H plus OH is uh, H2O, and and that's water. So it converts it into water, and that's good. That's that's healthy. So now you you can get rid of it. But if you all you do is you release these free radicals <clears throat> back into your body and they're floating around, uh, they're they're going to cause damage. They're going to grab the, the electrons and steal them uh, from the outer shell of of your of your cells and uh, create problems. Create problems. And so we're uh, we're constantly looking for ways to neutralize those free radicals and that's where the antioxidants come in. So products like the, the, the hydrogen water, the H2 sticks is a great product for that. Uh, products like uh, Spectrum is. Spectrum X is great because um, when you're reducing free radicals, you reduce one free radical by, by supplying an electron, but then by taking the electron from over here and putting it over here, now don't you create another free radical over here? And the answer is yes. And so now you have a weaker uh, free radical over here. So now you have to neutralize that. So you have to have another compound that's going to neutralize that. Then you have another compound that neutralizes that. And you have another compound that neutralizes that. So that's why in Spectrumax, we have 74 trace minerals. We have 40 antioxidants because it kind of works in that, in that, you know, in that chain. And it reduces, the, it reduces the free radicals down to the point to where they're, they're, they're safe. But hydrogen water, of course, uh, can, can cleave off those, that hydroxyl group and, and it doesn't create any free radicals. And so it, it really is probably the, the world's best uh, antioxidant. But when we're looking at, at things like the spectrum action, you know, that's why you have to have the uh, 40 antioxidants, 74 trace minerals. And it's really, it's the only product of its kind out there. So, Hopefully I'm not making sense, or I am making sense. I'm not bouncing back and forth too much for you all to, to understand where I'm, where I'm going with all this. But creating that environment that a healthy cell can now survive. Does that make sense? Give me a thumbs up if that makes sense to you, you know, and, and, and that, you know, we want, to, we want to create that environment. You have to create the environment. So I really believe you know, the super detox, um, the body shield, the H2 water, uh, and the balance D, you know, those are going to be uh, some of your best product for creating that environment, creating a healthy soil so that you can have a healthy yard. Now we can start looking at the other different products that we have, like the age pill. Um, of course, you know, we can't say cure or treat or Anything like that, we can't insinuate that we're, that we're curing or treating. But <clears throat> think about the studies that are out there on, on the ingredients in the age belt. It's not studies on the age belt, right? 
is studies on the ingredients that are found in the AH pill. And you can look it up, you know, nicotinamide riboside, nicotinamide uh, mononucleotide, NAD, um, 5-hydroxytryptophan, and you start niacinamide, ni- uh, uh, niacinamide uh, acid, uh, nicotinaminic acid, different things like that. You can look up, uh, you can look up uh, uh, rosmarinic acid, all these things are, are found in the age pill and in therapeutic doses. We don't just sprinkle a little bit on top and say, oh, it's in there, uh, like some uh, vitamin and nutritional companies do. We put a therapeutic dosage in there. And, and so by creating the environment first and now adding the age pill to the mix, what you're going to find is that it's going gonna, it's gonna to help the cells become healthier. They're going to be able to function better right and we can make function claims on products we can't say cure or treat but we can say that it's going to make the the cells function better we, we can say that it's going to make the the brain cells function better um for me when i started taking the age pill and and i was taking i was taking uh, 12 a day in the beginning i still try to take 12 a day uh now because i find that it makes me feel better. It makes me function better. I find that I have better memory. Uh, I feel like I'm, I'm still sharp as a tack uh, when I'm taking the age pill. Of course, you know, products like the H2 sticks helps as well. But the, uh, the age pill helps to uh, make the brain function better. And they've shown that it helps to make the, the individual cells of, of, of your entire body but work better because it supports a healthy uh, stem cell function. And stem cells are really kind of the, the repair guys. They're, they're the repair and replacement. And, and my analogy that I like to look at is that, you know, on the streets out here, uh, after, after a, a hard winter, you'll see that there's cracks and broken out areas where the pavement has, has busted out. And you get the you get the street repair crews that come out and they repair the street out here. Well, in your body, the stem cells are those guys. They're the repair guys or gals if you're if you're uh, look at it that way. But they're they're the replacement cells. They're the repair cells. And so the the ingredients in the age pill, a lot of really good studies on it that show that the ingredients are going to help support healthy repair, healthy. Uh, replacement cells and so so i kind of throw that in there i mean those are um in my opinion some of the the best products that you want to be on right away and then we start looking at at products like like fucoidin and uh and and one of the reasons that i i really put fucoidin up on the top way up here is uh inflammation is one of the major components of almost every chronic disease, inflammation. And so you have to get rid of the inflammation because if you don't get rid of the inflammation, there's no way that you're going to have healthy cell function. And when you start thinking about inflammation, of course, you start thinking about kidney health, kidney health. And last year, last April, 2018, a great study came out. They, they, they said that the extracts from brown seaweed, which we know it as fucoidin, helps with uh, healthy, healthy function of, the, of the, the kidneys. Again, you know, you hear me use the word function. And, and, and so we can't say that our product, fucoidin, uh, does this because the study wasn't done on, on our product. The study was done on, on just... Uh, you know, the brown seaweed extract known as fucoidin. And they showed that it, that it supported a healthy uh, kidney function. And the whole idea that I have read on, on it is that the kidneys, when they start to dysfunction, when they aren't functioning normally, what ends up happening with the kidneys is they secrete uh, chemicals that actually destroy stem cells. So again, think about that. So inflammation, 
causes problems with the kidney. The kidney produces chemicals that alter stem cell function. And so wouldn't that put Fucoidin up higher on the top of the list along with the age bill? And then we start looking at products like uh, um, Eternity. Eternity uh, has, a, has a really uh, great resveratrol ingredient. And, and you might say, oh, I already take a resveratrol product. I was looking at a, a product the other day that my buddy was taking. And it's got resveratrol in it, but it's, it's a powder. Well, as soon as you take the top off the, off the uh, bottle, all that powder is exposed to oxygen. You put the cap back on, and there's a certain space between the powder and the top of the cap. And when I take that cap off that bottle, that, bo that bottle fills with air. And uh, air has oxygen in it, and, and the oxygen, it causes uh, oxida oxidation. And uh, oxidation uh, damages the, uh, the resveratrol. And, uh, and it makes it so that the resveratrol has uh, less ability to heal. And what does resveratrol do? Well, the studies on resveratrol indicate that, that resveratrol um, supports or, or, or works with the, the CERT genes. And the CERT1 gene, the CERT2 genes, are the genes that are, are responsible for uh, DNA repair. And again, some of you might say, well, some of you might say, well, you know, I don't have uh, damaged DNA. Well, I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. If you read the studies every day, uh, you're exposed to damaging toxins in your air and your water and in the food you, you eat. And, and those, uh, the, those damaging toxins uh, will damage your DNA. Radiation, solar radiation, will cause uh, damage to your DNA. Stress will cause damage to your DNA. And these uh, CERT genes, the CERT1 gene, the CERT2 genes, they go in there, and these are the guys that, that uh, repair your, your damaged DNA. So again, you know, resveratrol, in my opinion, is way up here. And uh, what makes uh, our, our resveratrol uh, so more, more, more potent than any of the other resveratrols on the market is Tom has figured out a way of making the resveratrol so it doesn't get oxidized. It doesn't get oxidized, and so it's a it's a it's a healthy, um, potent, therapeutic a form of resveratrol. And I always tell people that uh, sorry, there's a plane, but oh so resveratrol again. You want to have a, a non-oxidized form of it. And that's what we have with eternity. So we, have a, we have a therapeutic dosage. <clears throat> and so that's up on the top of my list of the products that we want to have. And so there, folks, you know, um, let me look at the time here. Yeah, I've used up a half hour of your day. And I just want to say thanks for joining me today. Thanks for joining me here and having a beautiful day. The sun is shining and uh, we're... Uh, we're going to have a really, really nice, beautiful day. It's supposed to get up into, you know, maybe 80 degrees. And, and uh, so I'm down here in Minneapolis for one more day, and then I'll head back home to Fargo tomorrow and go pick up my dog and, and hang out with him. So you have a great day. Doc Fizz saying goodbye. Good day. Good day, mate. Bye-bye.